Hey, Rabbi Kaplan. Yeah. Okay. Um, the truth is, I wasn't feeling good for two days, and I didn't feel that I would have what to say tonight. Because when, when you're not feeling good physically, and the ruach is low, so the mind closes up, and, 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 and the mayon becomes nistam, the, the spring gets stopped up. And it's hard to talk, it's hard to think of ideas. But the truth is that this, this series over here is not really, <coughs> it's not lectures, it's sichas chum, shotom like I said, uh, half a year ago, more. And I, and, 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 and we're, we're just talking and having secrets between ourselves. And I just talk about any idea that uh, Hashem is masmin to me, this. But I want everybody to know I definitely put thought into what I say. I don't just uh, shoot out. I, I can't just shoot out. I have to put some thought before I talk. <laughs> I did put so, so something came to my mind just today, <coughs> and and it got me thinking. And and I have what to say right now. I'll try to 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 see if it if I can express myself clearly, even though I'm still not feeling so good. It just came to my hand a few hours ago. Uh, an article in which I, I don't even know if I, I should be reading maybe I should even be ashamed of myself what do you mean you read an article you picked up a newspaper you read an article about Torah somebody that's so cool in learning somebody that enjoys learning has a time in learning you you actually spent 10 minutes to read an article you took 10 minutes and I mean I feel that way I want to let everybody know that we should feel that this way. But it, it came to my hand, so let's do something about it. Let's make something out of it. There's this person that his name is Mayor Ettinger, that he's been in jail for 11 months. He's a grandson of Mayor Kana, which that's not really that important. The story. This uh, mayor, I think, is named after Mayor Khan. He's 24 years old. He was accused of uh, bombing some uh, house of Arabs in some place. And he was in jail for 11 months. They're trying to squeeze out of him, uh, uh, how do you say, a confession that he, that he did. He was behind it. And they let him out now, but it's still not finished. Maybe they'll put him in trial eventually. All this, we know of all this riches of the Rishon. I want to talk about something else which very, which very much bothers me. This person, I know he's a fine Jew, 24 years old, still... Yachasite to what in relation to him to me I would call it young. And uh so he's interviewed over him and he talks about what uh, he says that he had nothing to do with with this whole thing, it has nothing to do with him. But he talks about what group he belongs to what they call Noah Agvaut the youth of the, the mountain top youth and he he uh, he tells he talks about well, what does he want what does he want he wants to, to that there should be a Jewish state over here um that uh, this this state is, is a Goisha state, which is we're true. Everybody agrees with that. Nobody argues on that. Besides a few naive Americans that uh, live in Arnof, maybe, and maybe in in some other place 
places uh, I don't know where and everybody knows that this is a gracious state but uh, when he's talking this person uh, how do we make this into a Jewish state I mean like this is the basic question that's guiding this uh, youngster how do we make this into a Jewish state and and he has sort of answers on this and he has ideas what it should be what kind of state it should be and they asked him uh, do you uh, uh, what do you do you want a Medina Salocha so he says uh, well I don't like the word Medina Salocha I would call it Medina Satora okay let it be like that I'm willing to give in to him on that What's the difference? Halacha, Torah, it's all one thing. Okay, so he says, Torah is the generality and Halacha is the problem. What do I care and all these, these differences? Um, he says, we have to make a mapecha and, and, uh, we, and, and, and that means a mapecha in English is, um, uh, I don't know how you say it. A revolution, maybe. To change everything. As as great as the Mapech as the revolution that Herzl created. Herzl had an idea. Herzl saw that the Jews were persecuted and he said, we have to do something about it. We need a Jewish state. And this line I heard from Rabbi Gon Tzvi Cheshin, which is which is my Michelle Adam that I don't know if the world knows about him, but he is a Adam Godel Mamish. And he said, Herzl saw a problem and he said, Let's look for a solution. Okay, what's the solution to become Goyim to Shmad ourselves? Yeah, maybe that's the solution. But uh, but over here but that's that's one kind of riches, he said. But here the leaders of this Medina, which Lamai said they took and they shmadded, they mama shmadded up thousands and maybe millions. They're, they're, they're the big, big Rishayim. Herzl is small compared to them. Herzl was looking for a solution to a problem. But these Rishayim are Brahmish, Brahmish. You, you can't imagine the riches of them in, 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 in shmadding up millions of people. Now, says this mayor Attinger that just like Herzl had an idea and he made a revolution with his idea and at the time who believed that there was anything would come out of it to make a Jewish state who thought of such a thing in, in those days and we also have to make such a revolution in, in such a greatness such a size like he did and we have to make a Medina Salah now this is, I want to say one thing. And because of this, so he, so they have their group and what they call the Shavak, that's the, what the, the equivalent to the FBI maybe in, in, in Israel. And they were after him and they accused him of certain things. And he was in jail for 11 months and they're still going to put him in trial and a whole story. And they didn't even let him out for the breeze of his firstborn son. Okay, now. What? He's still in jail? The, what? He's in jail now? No, but he's out. He's right now. He's out. Oh. So, but he's still, they're still going to be, they're probably going to put him on trial for something. I don't know what. So now, uh, and there's a picture over here in this uh, article in Besheva, in the Besheva, what I call rag. And I call these, uh, here in Israel, the papers that they put in the mailboxes for free. It's mainly advertisements, but the meaning in between, they put in articles. So in the, there's a rag, and I call them rags because they put it in for free. So, and there's a rag that's called Besheva. And, and this, this interview is in that rag. Now, there's a picture of, uh, of Yitzhak Ginsburg, which is a very, very big person, and, that, that I remember him from uh, when he first came to Israel and he was in Kamenitz where I would... And they say 
that he's a tremendous genius and he knows the land and everything. It's a picture of him sitting there at the Sunday coast of the baby, which is, uh, I hope this the child should grow up to the Torah of the Chupa, the Yerush Shomayim, and I hope he should, Amen. he should grow up to be a Tzadik and a Yerush Shomayim. And you see the picture of Avisa Ginsburg uh, with the Sunday coast and people standing around. Now, by the way, Rob Kaplan, just to, uh, one second. Hello, I was there at the bris. Uh, what bris? The bris. That oh, bris. boy. I was outside when it was happening. I didn't oh, go there. The Ettinger board. Yes, in Shari Chesed it was. Oh, it was in Shari Chesed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was something, some shop on a hilltop. No. It's, uh, oh, good. I hope this boy will grow up in the, in the Yishuv and not in a hilltop. So, so, so you see the picture here. Now, now I want to say like this. Uh, um, what I'm asking you, I'm asking you, Mayor Ettinger, did you finish Shas? Did you finish Four Chelke Can you, can you say some deep explanation on our toasters? Can you discuss? And maybe he can. Maybe he can. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think he finished shots yet. I mean, don't you have a lot of work to do in your life? My my real question is, I'm, I'm saying you're wrong, wrong, wrong. Your whole outlook is wrong. This mamish, I'm mistaken. Your whole chinuch is wrong. Rahman is on you that you sat in jail 11 months, but you're wrong and you grew up in the wrong place and you had the wrong influences. And I don't know if it's his father's fault. I don't know whose fault it is, but you have a wrong outlook on the whole Yiddishkeit. And the Yisod is like this. Our avodah is to make the kunin in our Dalit Amas. That means... We were sent down into this world, Hashem sent us down to this world to fix a certain place. That certain place is, first of all, our goof. He put our Neshama into a goof that we should fix that goof. We should purify it. We should not allow it to be misgabra over the Neshama. And we should fight that, that, that goof and the Yetzirah that comes with it. Besides that, we have to shine into our surroundings. Now, those people that are able to to uh, shine, some people could shine even further in their surroundings. Some people are able to be make care of people to Yiddishkeit. There are some people that, that for some reason they don't do that. But they, they learn with weaker people. I mean, I'm, I happen to be talking from my own uh, experience that I learn with three weak people every day. And I have three weak son-in-laws that are not such big tamid chachom. And I see it as my tough kid. To, I, I, I think to myself sometimes that maybe my tough kid is to, to pick up these, these lonely shamans and bring them up, bring them higher up. Maybe, maybe I should, I, I don't know if I'm going to do more, but let's talk in general, let's not talk about me. I don't want to be one of those people that talk about themselves all the time. But, but, but our job is to shine into our goof and to shine into our surrounding. And the question is, what is our surrounding? How far does our surrounding go? The truth of the matter is that we have no idea the mamish no musag of what we accomplish every day, and, and we do accomplish a lot. But we have to, we have to believe it. We need a muna. We're missing a muna. Every every hour that you learn gemara and tashis, every five minutes that you learn gemara and tashis, you're fighting the ra. You're fighting the sultan and his cat delay. Every yesh may rabbit that you say. And especially if you know what it means. Your mom is breaking. Uh, Rabbi Kaplan, Rabbi Kaplan. 